Welcome to the swamp, the giant that the head ball coach awakened, one that thrived in urban renewal, and now one where only the Gators get out alive. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the LSU Tigers, taking on the 15th ranked team in the land, the Florida Gators. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. LSU ready to kick it away to get things started. And he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. So Florida's return team will have that offense backed up. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys. And it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Bob. And you got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that. The fans are all talking about it. But it's just football. Oh, what a move to get room. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. They've done a really good job identifying mismatches, and they find one out of the backfield there. Reese, I really don't think it's that hard. My guy is better than yours. Find the matchup across the field. Running back's got some speed. Get it in his hands quickly. Throw it to him fast. Let him make somebody miss against a slower guy that's usually a linebacker. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. Motion from the offense. Touch pass on the jet sweep. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page playing together. I love it. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. <laughs> you know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about... And it's caught inside the 25. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Well, this guy obviously spent a lot of time in the film room this week because he is dissecting this defense early in the game in the opening drive. Great job with his eyes, great job with his rhythm, an explosive play there. This defense does not have an answer for this dude. And the Gators have this offense rolling. Looking to throw, it's Mertz. Unleashes one deep. He makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Gators! And it feels good to land that first big punch against a rival, doesn't it? No doubt. In a game like this, too, you just want to be executed at a high level early. So, David, that's got to feel great getting on the board first. And settles everyone down. All the nerves, all the emotion of this rivalry game. Now everybody can kind of settle in because you know you already got a touchdown on the board. The AT unit on the field. And the PAT makes it 7-0. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. Fielded in the end zone. It's Dura. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. So LSU's offense has its first opportunity of the day. And both of these teams have anchors in the middle that you build your defense around. And everybody just seems to look to these two guys when there's a big play on the field that needs to happen, right? They're making all the calls. They're making sure that they're in the right spots, run, pass, getting everybody organized, and they do it at a high level. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Works his way into the traffic and picks up three to the 17. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. 
This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. Keep it on the ground. Find some space and up to get five to the 22. They have had to wear that beat down since the last time these two met, Jesse. They've been talking about it for a long time. They were absolutely embarrassed. The players, the coaches, the fans. You know they've been coming into this game this time. They want to put out a much better performance. Oh, there's nothing worse. The coaches are riding you all week leading up into this game, reminding you, showing the clips in the locker room. You know you failed. You want to come out and get a great start in this football game early. Gets the first one of the day off and hoping he's not as busy as he was in that loss last week when he kicked it four times. He's brought down, but there's also a penalty marker down. Let's see what this is about. Illegal block Illegal block block block. Block. Return, Return team. Team. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The a first down for the offense. Looking to throw, it's Mertz. He hurls one deep down the left side. Grabs it inside the 15. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida. Now, a lot of times you see those receivers as soon as they get by the DBs. You know, that hand goes straight up in the air. I got him. I got a step on him. He got a step on him. And the ball is thrown perfectly out in front. You can see he runs underneath it, gets it, and gets the long touchdown on the go route. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They open runway ahead. And the explosive play, and they're on the move all the way to the 44. LSU right back to the line. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. And that play had no chance. And, and you sell pass, and you want to sneak the draw in there. The idea is to get those defensive linemen over running up the field. But it's almost like they knew what was coming, and they shut that down quick. Yeah, and so you're running the play. It's not going to be a great look defensively. As a quarterback, then, you've got to do a real good job of trying to sell pass. And I think he just hurried it a little bit too much. That play didn't look like it was going to have a chance anyways. But the quarterback has got to be a better actor on this draw. Try to pick up the first through the air. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. So they'll send out the field goal unit. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. It's good, and that was dead solid perfect. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut them out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. 
The Gators sending the offense back to work. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go right back at him. Oh, he's ready to take a shot. What a grab along the left sideline. Got the foot down and a strong throw. Put it right on the money. And he just kept running and he ran away from the crowd and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Gator! The mantra is always finished and they're trying to do that here in the regular season with this Week 12 performance. And what nice play design. You get your speedster, you put him in the slot, you usually get a better matchup. And then what do you do? You fade him towards that sideline, run a go. Nice ball thrown way out wide. He just runs underneath it and just too much speed. Couldn't catch him. Gets in the end zone for six. You're going to go out on a limb and say they have a lot of him plays. Throw the ball to him. Already over 100 yards receiving. Keep it simple, stupid. Just find this guy and get him the football. Now, if you're on defense, it's pretty obvious where this team is going with the ball. You're going to have to come up with a plan to stop this guy. He'll bring it out. It's Durham. Strikes the blow. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on that. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Third and ten, still backed up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. Looking to throw, it's Nussmeyer. They'll run the screen. Pirouettes away from the defense. And I love the discipline on defense right there. Big third down, so everyone keeping their eyes on the quarterback, rallying to the ball, making a tackle. Great team defense. Looks as if LSU will line up to punt it away. Makes a move. <laughs> He'll be guided out of bounds, but not before a nifty return on that one. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. A quick strike touchdown up top the last time they had it, Jesse. They'd love to do it again. No doubt. They've got so many playmakers on the perimeter, David. Just find a way to get these guys the ball in space. Yeah, and you already started, man. Making that big play, opening up this offense. This quarterback is feeling good about himself. I wouldn't be surprised if they give it right back to him. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. Looking for a productive play on first down. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. He has the first and still on his feet. And they'll finally shove him out of bounds after a strong run. Man, this guy's a playmaker. He does not need a lot of space. Really nice job that time, letting the pass rush get upfield. So when he got the football, there was just green grass out ahead of him, and he made the defense pay. Uh, and when I got a guy like that, man, I, I just got to find ways to get him past the D-line, right? And then the draw play is a good way to do it. Let them run themselves up the field. Then you can see he's got some serious speed. A lot of speed in space is always a good recipe for offense. That last incompletion leaves them with second and 10 from the 21. Shows him the stiff arm. Just outstanding vision from the young freshman on that run. And these touch passes, it's so hard because there's always action off of me, right? If I fake this pass and I can run it up the gut or I can throw and they just spread me out and make me defend so many things. And you could tell they got on the edge quickly, got the big first down. The Gators will try to punch it in on first and goal. To the air, it's Mertz. Got his man out of the backfield. And a quick completion, an even quicker loss. The defense was right there to knock him down. I want to make sure I know 
where the playmakers are. And I can't let guys like this guy slip out of the backfield and make big plays against me. Good job being aware that they can throw the ball to the running back, closing space, and getting that fast dude on the well, we know this defense is one that plays with a lot of pride, right? And part of that is their ability stopping the run. They're a top 25 unit in the nation when it comes to stopping the rush. And that really helps them out down here in the red zone. They're going to have to step up big time in this situation. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. We'll start this second quarter with a field goal attempt. It is true as he puts three on the board. And they'll push that lead out a little further. Just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. They've been pretty much stifled on offense so far, David, only able to muster three points in their previous three drives. And you got to find a way to open this up and create some explosive plays. Like the passing game is obviously the easiest way. Jesse, put more speed on the field. Find those guys down the field. You know they're frustrated, too, because they felt like there were some matchups they could take advantage of to get some points on the board early. And this one, they just haven't been able to connect on those opportunities. But I like David's idea. Maybe move some guys around and see if you can create some better one-on-one -on -one matchups. LSU quick to the line. And LSU starting to get that passing attack cranked up. And this is a unit that typically LSU is as good as they are at quarterback. We know they're going to be physical. We know they got athletes all over the field. But when they get really good quarterback play, those teams are really special. They'll line up for a second down play. To the air, it's Nussmeyer. Trying to make magic on the scramble. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. No work for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. They'll try to drive ahead on third and short. That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. LSU moving the ball quickly down the field. Nice job by this offense, converting the third down. Listen, third and short, they know you're going to run the football, and they still did a great job being physical. Third downs has been such a struggle for this offense. Bottom 50, one of the worst in college football. Nice job on that play. Pulls and fires complete. Touchdown, LSU! What a grab and go for the score. It's a much-needed life from this offense as they try to cut away at this lead. No doubt. Needed something to go right. If you're down, you got to make plays. you got to get your team back in it. Great start. Keep chipping away. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point pulls them closer. It's 24 to 10. That is an efficient drive. Seven plays, 75 yards. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. They've got it down to a two-touchdown deficit, trailing by 14 and about to kick it away. He'll bring it out. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The Gators sending the offense back to work. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. 
And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. To the air, it's Mertz. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. They couldn't connect on second down. Now staring at a third and nine. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. Got the first down. Looking for more. Powers through. Afterburner's coming. And what a huge chunk play for this offense. Just exactly what you need to move the ball down the field. How many ways can I get to my guys who can fly, who are playmakers, and let them make big plays? This is another one you've seen. Catch the football, flip it ahead really quickly, get it to a burner, go in full speed across the formation. He gets the edge, makes the big play. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. What a cut! And he's gonna take it in the end zone. Touchdown, Florida! Another touchdown for this guy, and he's starting to get in the groove the way Terry Dean did when he set the single game record with seven touchdowns. Another one. I mean, just putting up stats. This guy's fine in the end zone, and he can do it all. Just showing it off left and right. But when you play in such a physical league like the SEC, and, but you got a guy like this that can get an extra first down and really keep those chains moving and score big plays and big touchdowns, good luck stopping him. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Pittsburgh was able to come away with the victory, but it was not the type of dominant win we've seen in the Steel City over the years. A win, yes, but this one lacked style points. The circle of life in college football, where one team moves on feeling like kings, and the other heads home, licking its wounds. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. Out across the 30, Mark down at the 35 after the 10-yard gain. They've been steamrolled so far in this first half, David, but maybe a little positive momentum to take to the locker room. Right, and I like the, you got the first first down of the drop. So maybe you can build on this now. I would play with some tempo, obviously getting closer to halftime here. Maybe create some momentum, get a score here, and cut into this lead. Wants to throw. It's Nussmeyer. Got his man on the right. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Come to the line at the 42, facing a third and short. They'll try to get it through the air. Catch in the middle, it's Lacey. Tackled after picking up the first down. LSU right back to the line. They'll throw it on first down. Dumps it to the back. Snagged in the middle, it's Williams. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see Offside. what that's all about. Yeah, and you see some people get upset with offsides in the defense. I call it the cost of doing business. It's just part of being great off the football. Sometimes you'll guess, and, and sometimes you'll be wrong. The first one is always on me, coach, you know, and then the second one, you know, usually he takes me out of the game. He's looking deep. Hits him in stride inside the 10. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Bayou Bengals. Man, nice job getting the passing game going. This, this is big, man. Going to the half, and listen, I know you're trailing, but building some momentum. Maybe this second half, we can keep airing the football out, cutting into this deficit, and who knows what the heck will happen. Ready to try the point after. And the kick is good, but there's a penalty flag, and I think it's going to be roughing the kicker. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Roughing the roughing kicker. The kicker. Defense. Defense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. 
They're lining up to kick it off, and he ought to be able to knock this one anywhere he wants after that extra 15 yards with the roughing the kicker. No chance for a return as that ball flies out of the back of the end zone. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth, and I got to score, and every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you for sure to feel like I got to make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, I got to hit them too. We can't let our serve get broken. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Out of the gun. The running back has it. Good, solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33-yard line. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. you got to keep defenses off balance. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. Man, oh, man, the ball carrier was just shut down. And I tell you what, they need some push up front, too, right? they got to move those defensive linemen out of the way, at least create a hole so your running back has a chance. Not there. He didn't have it. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Complete out of the backfield. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. You always hear run the route deep enough to get the first down, but if you don't, you better fight your way there, and he did. Yeah, nice job. And listen, catch the football, understand fourth and short, the situation, and then go get that first down. Don't dilly-dally. Don't try to make a home run play. Get past the sticks. Nice job of understanding that situation. The Gators will snap it on first and ten. The back goes in motion. Trying to find his man on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Johnson. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. Well, he made the grab, but the doors closed quickly after that. And I like this. I want to find my running back, but, man, he's got to do a little more damage after the catch. I need, I need a stiff arm. It's a big stride inside the 10. Touchdown, Gator. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. This guy is officially a problem. His second receiving touchdown of the game. Nice job by the offense. Dude, if I've got a matchup I like, continue to pick at it until they stop. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. So that was a six-play, 75-yard drive. And they finish it in style with a 57-yard toss for six. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. They're looking for an advantage to the right. Picks up the first down. And he's wrestled out of bounds after a nice pickup. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. One more play before the teams head to the locker rooms. He wants to throw. He lost it high and deep down the left side. The pass falls incomplete, and that's how we'll finish this half. in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who 
Once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. And the Gators will line up to kick off and start the second half. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. When you're facing a deficit like this one to start the second half, you really can't afford to waste a single possession. Fresh start here in the second half is the only way you can look at this if you're on offense. Things did not go your way there in the first half. It starts with one play. To get our confidence going, we just got to get something going early here. Ball is free. And the defense has got it in there trying to pick up some yards. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. A lot of ball handling goes on in the option, but after you pull it, you got to make sure you take care of it. Because you're going to be in the teeth of the defense, right, Reese? I mean, if you pull that football, you're still in the center of the field where all those big D linemen and linebackers are living. So you've got to be extra careful with your ball security. Line gets set, first down. Easy. They'll try the run. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The running back has it. He stopped after a one-yard pickup at the 25. They've moved it to the 25, but now facing a third and long. Now the play fake. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. And that's why the ball falls in. Give the defense a ton of credit in this sudden change situation. Their offense just coughed it up. And this defense comes out, they go three and out and force a field goal. That's a win if you're on defense. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24, but if they're going to climb it, this is a good time to start. Sense of urgency's got to be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point of the game, David, they've got to score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops, but at this point, offensively, they've got to execute much better. they, they got to be super aggressive. Down 24, you're going to need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kind of go your way. So fast and throw in the football. Open the drive with a chunk play out past the 40, and they are in business on first down. Grabbed over the middle, it's Taylor. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job for him to Second down coming up. Defense wants to bring the heat. Got it behind the line. It's Thomas. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. Great play by the cornerback. He was just way too physical at the point of attack. He beat his man trying to block him and tackle that receiver. 
They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And you can tell that play went nowhere from the start. It was definitely a great play by that defender. Oh, yeah, he got the back foot so quick, the running back had absolutely no chance. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And that one will be down just about at the spot where it landed. Personal foul. Personal foul. Looking, to Looking to kick the kicker. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. This offense has a first and ten. They are flat bailed out by the defensive penalty. Gets it out fast. No chance to run, but they still move it forward. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. This offense set up with a second and short. Gets it out quickly. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. The Tigers have their offense in high gear. Run in the red zone. It's Williams. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Power football with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Listen, the offensive coordinator's best friend in the red zone is the running game. Make guys commit near the line of scrimmage so I can throw behind. This defense is good, but I'm going to challenge them. I'm, I'm going to try to be the more physical team. I love the play call. I think you keep running the football and stay physical. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. LSU lining up first and goal. Here we go. Goes to the option. He'll pitch it. And the fourth option there is to throw it in reverse. And that's what happened on that one. And the D deny them on second and goal. The defense there has their backs against the wall. That's a great job of really just gearing down, getting some push up front, not giving away anything, and making that play in that time. And they stop him again for no gain, and it will be third down. The defense stiffened on the last play. Now it's third and goal again from the two. Unleashes to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Tigers. And what a nice play call and nice execution. Play action, you're thinking run. Quarterback pulls it out throws the football right behind those guys and gets the touchdown. Yeah, it was a nice job there by the quarterback, too, on, on the ball handling. He just froze the defense just long enough to help those wide receivers and targets get some separation in the end zone, and at that point, it was just an easy pitch and catch. Two-point conversion attempt is on the way. Easy. Off the play fake. And that one is picked up in the end zone. The two-point attempt is no good. That keeps the score for Florida. 41, LSU, 23. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner will be brought down. The Gators sending the offense back to work. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. I like the play call on offense. I like you trying to get the running back involved in the pass game, too. Defense was ready for that one. Let's see what you've got dialed up on third. Looking deep down the right side. 
And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. The Gators will line up to punt it away. The punters have had the day off up to this point. First one of the game. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Last time they had it, they took it down the field for a touchdown. They can build some confidence that they could go back-to-back -back scoring drives here. Yeah, and remember, it's not uncommon for offenses to find themselves as the game goes on. They had some things not go their way early, but they found something last drive, David. Let's see if they can build on it. Yeah, you, you, you just pick and pick and pick until you find that place where you're like, okay, this is an advantage I have. They've clearly found that dude. They score here. We're in for a ball game. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. LSU will bring the punt team on the field. Great job by the whole defense. But how about the little bit of defensive back throwing his face in the fan? I ain't scared. I don't just cover guys. I make tackles. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. Looking downfield, it's Mertz. Quickly complete. And he's got enough for a first down. Now to see if they have enough time to snap it again here in the third. They showed great trust in their quarterback right there, and why not? He's had an outstanding game. An outstanding game is taking care of the football. Now late in the game, you've got the lead. That first down now tells me, now it's time to start running the football, run the clock, get out of here with the dub. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. Now on first and 10 from the 26. He's going to pass. Grabbed behind the line. It's Johnson. At the 40. He smashes his way through again. Defense caught out of position, and they get him down finally at the 38. He just keeps piling up numbers with completion after completion in this standout performance. And I think some people might say late in the game, you got the win, everything's in hand, be a little bit conservative, or you just say, I'm just going to keep doing me. And what I do with this offense is throw the football all over the yard, and I'm going to try to win me a big trophy at the end of the year. It'll be a draw. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong. And I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up. And usually, they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Makes a man miss. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. Really nice awareness by that guy, too, because it looked as though his momentum might carry him out of bounds, might stop the clock, but he knew to get down. He was fighting to make sure he fell down in the field to play, and as a result, the clock keeps ticking. Now facing a third and long. On the run, it's Mertz. Using the quick game. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. I don't know if they're trying to get this guy Heisman consideration, but the fact that they're still throwing the ball at this point in the game with a lead like they have is surprising, I gotta be honest. The Gators with the first and 10. They'll run it to keep the clock moving. They bring him down, and he's gonna lose a yard on that one. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Well, it was a good throw. It was a good route, but it was the hit that forced that incompletion. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Caught in the backfield, it's Johnson. 
And this one will be stopped for no gain. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. They already have a comfortable lead up by multiple possessions, but they're going to go for it here on fourth down. With jet sweep pass. Got enough for the first. He's finally brought down, but that freshman found some running room. It's so hard for a defense to have to stop plays like that because it really forces you to play with great eye discipline. You see the pre-snap motion. Defense doesn't know if he's just running across the field and is going to run a route, if he's going to block, or if he has the football. That time, he was able to outflank the defense and hurt them to get that first down. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. Twelfth play of the drive coming up, but they've got a long way to go here on third down. Don't want to risk anything here. The quarterback takes a knee. No matter how much college football changes, realignment, all of that kind of stuff, rivalries are consistent, and winning rivalry games, well, that's just the best. Because they hate each other so much, so you take the field against your rival, you're able to put forth a performance like that. That is worth its weight in gold, David. Unbelievable effort here by the winning team, and Braggy writes now for a while. Bragging rights for a while. It's, it's a fun thing to be able to accomplish. Now we also got to take in the next couple games because this is always there's a letdown that naturally happens after these big rivalry wins. We feel like our chest is poked out. We got to look on to the next game, focus in on this next one. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.